Welcome to Parks and Rec Today. My name is Liddy Gutfeld and I am your host. I'm also the Parks and Recreation and Community Services Director for the City of San Bernardino. Parks and Rec Today will bring you up-to-date topics about things going on in the city, in our parks, in our community centers, and all around. We're excited about the month of May because we are celebrating Water Safety Month. This month, you can expect a huge campaign of social media posts, website posts, and so much more, including activities that are gonna be happening all throughout the city. But today, I'm excited to bring you Parks and Rec Today, the Water Safety Month edition. Hi, my name is Liddy Gutfeld and I'm the Director of Parks, Recreation and Community Services for the City of San Bernardino and I welcome you to Parks and Rec Today, the Water Safety Month Edition. Today, our special guest is Tim English. He's the Fire Prevention Specialist from the San Bernardino County Fire Department and he's going to be here today to talk to us about some safety measures that we can take, not only in our homes, but throughout the community to make sure that our community is water safe this summer. Tim, welcome. Thank you very much, I'm glad to be here. Well, we have so much to talk about, but I just really wanna just dive in, no pun intended, <laughs> um, and talk about water safety. So you know the statistics, mm -hmm. and you know that it is really scary to see the statistics that are so, the range is so insanely different for black and brown children mm -hmm. more than any other minority. And so here in San Bernardino, what are some things that our community can do not just when they're outside swimming at one of our community pools, but when they're at home swimming. What are some safety measures that they can take? I think the biggest thing is to just be with your parents the whole time. Never go into a pool alone. Never leave your kids unattended near a pool. A couple of safety measures that they can take is fences around the pool, as well as an alarmed gate that goes around the pool as well. So in case the kid does try to go out there, they, the alarm goes off and the parents know that their kids are near the pool. Right. One of the things I think we've always talked about, especially with our aquatic staff, is just making sure that the community understands that presence is key. Yeah. And so um, this summer, uh, or actually here coming up next month, we'll be offering some water watcher tags over at our water safety event. So you don't wanna miss it. Make sure you go water safety day at the Jerry Lewis Family Swim Center. It'll be everything for the community to come out, not just learn about water safety, but about community safety as well. Um, and I want to talk about just that, drowning. Mm -hmm. So when a child drowns, or even an adult, mm -hmm. okay, let's talk about the timeline of what happens to the brain. So at 60 seconds, no air, the brain cells begin to die. At three minutes, serious brain damage is likely. At 10 minutes, brain cells begin to die at a more accelerated rate and recovery from that is highly unlikely. And then at 15 minutes, uh, recovery is virtually impossible. So would you say that CPR is a key factor in saving a life? Absolutely. So I wanna let the community know, um, we are going to be starting as a city, our staff is going to be starting to teach community CPR this fall. For more information, you're gonna to wanna to go to our website at www.svcity.org forward slash parks. Tim, I want to wrap it up. Okay. So we've talked about statistics. Mm -hmm. We've talked about what happens to the brain. Let's talk about if I were to say to you, what's one message that you would give to any parent, any caregiver, any neighbor that has a non-swimmer around them? What would you tell them is the most important thing to remember? I would say supervising your children and then taking swim lessons. I'm glad you said that. So city of San Bernardino, there's no excuse. At the Jerry Lewis Family Swim Center, we have so many swim lessons. There's no reason for you not to be swimming by the end of the summer. Take this opportunity. They're low cost. We can make it work for you. Come out, learn to swim, be safe this summer, and let's have a great, great summer and be water safe. Tim, thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate your time and thank you for everything you do for our city. Thank you for having me.